Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. What's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Madden 19 video. If this is the first time you have ever came to the channel, make sure you drop a like. Show some love and support. We are showcasing my 46 out of 50 Detroit Lions theme team. And then we have a, a couple other people in positions to help us out. So on the offense, we got Ebron, we got Kelvin Johnson, we got Blunt, we got Barry Sanders, we got Kenny Galladay, Herman Moore, and then we got rick wagner on offense and then we got these filler spots because they don't have at least a 92 overall for detroit lions in these positions on the defensive side we got whitehead glover quinn we got wilson who's a goal we got francis who's a goal we got damon harrison the damasu the new trey flowers night train lane darius slay and big dick 46 out of 50 lions this team right here shows you that you don't have to get the game and spend a lot of money, open packs, get the best players. You don't need to do that. All you got to do is know how certain zones play, how certain hash marks play, and you can win with any type of team. So when Madden 20 comes out, remember, you don't need the best players. So don't go opening up your wallet, spending $30, $40, $60, $70 $70 on packs. All you got to do is get yourself a patreon membership or get yourself a top 50 to 100 weekend league package or you can email me fat dollars at gmail get the custom schemes i got live breakdown schemes which is going to let you see exactly what i do how i set up defensive blitzes how i set up my offense all in a live breakdown so you can go watch the video and see exactly what you would do against blitzes man blitzes cover three cover two zone blitzes all that type of good stuff and live breakdown so we get to come out on defense first and we're going against somebody who's representing teg so we got clamp city squad against teg so in these live gameplays y'all gonna see exactly the adjustments that i like to make against certain looks it might be somebody that's blitzing heavy it might be somebody that's running a lot of man coverage this gameplay is going to help you be able to know how to react, how to go into certain play calls to be able to get your advantage on your opponent. So if you enjoy these, make sure you drop a like. So he has Patrick Mahomes. So we watching this uh, post over here in the running back. So I got to stay on top of this running back now. He gets sacked all the way back to the three yard line. Completely box his split closed down. So we're going to look at what running back is blocking, what running back ain't. So we got him pressed. That running back ain't blocking. He throws it over there just like I need it. And he he don't get a game. He gets no yards. So fourth and seven right here. Fourth and seven right here. So he blocked on that left side with that play action. I'm hoping he come out in three wide. If he comes out in three wide, I can man people up and then set up my blitz. Otherwise, I have to stay cautious and not real aggressive. So, he's, it looks like he's doing the same thing again. So, we got to be cautious. So, we're going to play sticks. Actually, we're going to man him up. So, he takes a penalty. This time, we're going to man up that uh, wide receiver over there. Because he's either going across the middle or going down. So I want that guy to run all the way across the field. I'm going to put the contain on the left side. So he goes out to three wide receivers. So let me see. So we got to watch that in route. Nobody's on him over there that he just motioned in. So I got to watch the tight end and I got to watch him. So there's the tight end with a double move. He throws it right to me. Good defense. I didn't bail out on the double move. He faked to the inside, then the outside, and we was right there. He's playing sticks or not. So he drops him completely off, completely off. He follows him. Contain. 
So we're going to bring him back. And White gets wide open right there. Easy catch. Fall down. Don't get a big hit. So if he's going to play um, cautious defense, that's when you play an offense like this and you take advantage of it. So now that I know that, now I can start hitting short passes. I can set up a cover three and cover four beaters and hit short passes at the same time. So now we're going to put... He's not sending that much pressure. We can streak over there. So we can see if he drops with him or not. So there he is. So we can have a playmaker field day. Have a playmaker field day. So this is where it's going to get tough in the red zone because he's not really playing defense. So we got to mix in draws. We got to mix in tosses. Try to catch him off balance because you can see he's not sending that many people in pressure. And then at the same time, he might uh, shoot the gap. So, we're going to try to take his attention away right here. Heavy blitz. We pick it up. We got the catch. But they said he went out of bounds first. He said he went out of ball, bounds first. So, we just lose a down. We still on the six-yard line. Hopefully, he blitzes again. Nope, this time he plays bum defense. In the back of the end zone for a high point pass. So I put the double slants on there to see he dropped back in coverage. His whole defense is based around uh, looking like there's going to be a lot of pressure coming. But once you hike the ball, it's eight people in coverage against your three receivers. Sometimes a running back coming out the backfield. And that's how people play. TEG, he is representing bum defense at his finest. You motion him in. Let's see if it's going to be a run. Okay, he motioned him in. Nobody's guarding him. So we're going to go right here. There's a drop. There's that. We got both of these. Now I can go back. Send him. He forces it down the field. We right here. That should have been a pick. The running back was on that right side. Now we can set up a blitz. Play action. A lot of pressure coming. And the blitz gets there. I watch my opponent's tendencies. I let him feel comfortable trying to throw the ball. And now we set up the blitz. Get the pressure in there. You can see my guy was completely screaming. Now he expecting for a blitz. He's going to set up something to get rid of the ball fast. And we're going to go right back into our lockdown defense. This time we're going to put a contain. Make sure he can't go nowhere. We're going to play outside. Move him out a little bit before he hike the ball. So he can't get lucky with a cover two. And we're going to stay right over the top of him. Watch him. Watch underneath. Crossing routes. I got that. I'm all over all the routes. TG against Clint City. It's no competition, baby. And we got X right there. So if he drops back with X right away, we can hit him for a low pass. He holds on to it. Gets down to the one-yard line. Set everything up before he can make his adjustments. So now we're going to put aggressive ball carrier. We're going to go down here. We're going to set up uh, the QB sneak. We're going to set up the fullback dive. We're going to set up the toss. And we're going to set up the halfback steam. So we're going to come out in the halfback dive. So now we got four different plays depending on what he does. So he's playing on that right side. I'm going to go to the toss right away before he makes his adjustments. All I need is one guy out there blocked. And we go in for an easy touchdown. Clamp City, 14, TEG, nothing. Make sure that he gets far over there. It's a cover two look. So you want to make sure that your seams is guarded. So there's a play action. He went back to his play. The set gets there. As long as you take away the first couple reads, it's a GG. So now we can mix in that blitz again. We're going to take anything short. He only going to have a couple seconds to make his adjustments. So he motioned him in. Let's see. I got that. Playmaker up. Right to my guy. Now I'm going after the quarterback. Oh, too much time. Too much time. Way too much time. He got to burn another time out. I had way too much time. I should have guarded him and sent the other guy. So we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. High point cheese. Wide open over there with a blocker. That's a good play. It's a good play down to the one yard line. He's picking up my blitz by slide protecting, so he's doing a pretty good job on that. With 18 seconds left, so 
me being aggressive is what stop is what's uh, making it so it's easier for my opponent. So now he's just gonna come out and uh, so he stopped. He got to burn his last time out. So if he don't get it this time, he's gonna have to hurry up. So. So we get the pressure in there and I click off of the guy on accident. So this time he's probably going to do a pitch. Hopefully he gets out of the goal line so I can open up my uh, defense more. But okay. So it looks like he's in pitch defense right now. So I got to make sure my user is right. I got to get all the way around these people. There we go. Stop them. Clock is still going. Seven, six, five, four, three. So he has enough time to kick it. He gets it off right at the last second. That was a good goal line stance right there. I knew the pitch was coming. We went out there, stopped it. So we get ball at half. So we up 14 to three. We're going to do some fake hikes, make it look like we put in offensive adjustments. Now he's moving people around. We can hurry up and quick hike them. Run somebody over, keep on going. That's an easy first down. So we are in control of the clock right now because he's standing at cover four. So like I said, I did some fake hikes. He put more people in positions and that's okay. So now we can streak Galladay. He's moving people around. He should have the step on them. Nobody should catch him. Caught him to the outside against my offense. As long as you have the knowledge, you got the power. Easy touchdown. My opponent pulls the cord. TG against Clem City. It's no competition, baby. Drop a like. Email me, fatdollars at gmail, if you want my full breakdown. Exactly what I look for, what adjustments I make. You see, my original defense was locked down. There was no way for him to get a touchdown or move the ball. When I went into the 5-2, that's when he was able to be a little more successful because I had less speed on the field against his three wide receiver package. It's all love. Drop a like. Subscribe. Tell your friend, your cousin, your baby mama, your baby mama's nephew about this channel and let's grow. Let's go.